Hey, what's up everyone? Wanted to hop on here, do a quick unboxing kind of review and setup of this uh, car phone uh, holder mount uh, because I, uh, I don't actually have Android Auto. We're going to try to find a spot on this dashboard um, to set it up. All right, so in the box, we actually get the instructions on how to set it up. We get the arm itself. Uh, we actually get some wipes and some pads here to, I presume, make sure that the suction works. And then we've also got the actual holder business mount here of the end. All right, so there's actually two ways that you can uh, you can actually use this to mount. They include in, inside the uh, in the box. They give you this clip here, which actually has a hook, which is meant to actually go inside the uh, the vent, so you can actually flip, you can actually uh, clip onto these louvers here on the air vent. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this. I mean, it's nice in the summertime when you got the air conditioning going because it keeps your phone cool. But if it's in the wintertime, you got the heat going, it's actually just going to heat your phone up. And plus, this also blocks a vent. Uh, so I'm not a fan of this style of mounting. Instead, we're going to use the suction cup mount or the arm. Now, they give you this dashboard pad here that's adhesive that basically is meant to just stick right onto the dashboard itself. If you've got a really like a really crazy curve on your dashboard or you uh, just want a really uh, smooth surface to mount to, they include this as well. However, uh, there's basically just uh, there's an adhesive here on the back. You see that you tear that off and it sticks right onto the dashboard. I'm not going to use this because I don't want to put any kind of adhesive here on my dashboard. But if you choose to go that way, they do give you the wipes to wipe everything off. They give you the tips. Um, but I am going to pass. I'm going to use uh, mount option number three. And that is using the arm and the suction cup directly on the windshield. Uh, I use this on the windshield because glass is very easy to clean and there's no adhesive actually on. I mean, there's a little bit of adhesive on the back of the uh, on the back of the suction cup to get you that first stick. But it's um, it's water soluble. It can rinse right off and I don't want to put anything on my uh, on my dashboard. Now, once I did there, there's like a little you can basically adjust the angle of the arm so that you get the angle of your, your windshield. And then I'm going to see if the camera can get it here. There's a little uh, there's a little tab under there to actually uh, engage or disengage the suction cup when that's there. That's not going anywhere. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little uh, take this little clip here, pop it onto that ball socket, and then we're actually gonna uh, gonna tie down the nut to kind of lock it into place. Once that's done, you're gonna see it look kind of like this. And then if I don't see if the camera's on here, there's a little button on the back. If you hit that little button, it's gonna open up the wings for the mount where you're gonna actually slide your phone. I can't do it here on this video because I'm using it to film. But basically, you're gonna slide your phone into here. And give it a little, uh, give it a little squeeze to size it up to your phone. And then they also give you this little fork here, so that you can actually charge from the bottom. You can plug it in while the phone is on the mount, which is a feature that I really, really like. And it's not actually, it's not a full loop. It's an open fork, so it's easy to pick it up and pick it out with the, uh, with the cord attached. So overall, I think it's a really good design. It's very un unintrusive. Uh, here's my where I'm gonna actually see outside my windshield. It's low. It's out of the way. It doesn't impair visibility. And my phone is right in the line of sight with kind of a with an instrument panel. Well designed, well made. It's all thick. It's all it's, it is plastic, but it is very thick plastic. And I think it's something that's going to last for me uh, for a very long time. Hey, real quick, if you like what you see in this video and you want to purchase one for yourself, I've left links to everything here in the description. And if you want more no nonsense, no BS product reviews, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the uh, hit the bell so you don't miss one.